up you guys it's Forrest and today today I'm going to be doing an unboxing tutorial and review of the Graco True Coat 360 VSP sprayer. The Graco True Coat 360 VSP air sprayer is the perfect air sprayer for any DIY homeowner or handyman looking for professional results. The 360 VSP can shoot paints, primers, stains, latex, paints, varnishes, urethanes, and much more, which makes it the ideal sprayer for any interior or exterior project. Inside the box, we can see the product and accessories come in a lightweight tool bag as opposed to a big bulky case, which makes it simple for traveling. Right on top, we have the literature of the product as well as the owner's manual. Next in the bag is the sprayer itself, which feels very heavy duty and has a sleek looking design. Inside this cardboard protector is the big 42 ounce job cup and a few Graco Flex Liner bags. Inside the cup is the kickstand to the sprayer, which we will show you how to install shortly. The bigger size of the cup reduces the amount of refills needed during jobs, which is a huge time saver. Finally, there is just a safety information card at the bottom of the bag. The kickstand has its own instructions rubber banded around it. Remove the rubber band to access the instructions. As you can see, this is a super simple install for this accessory. The kickstand slides up the base of the handle and locks into place. Before the sprayer's first use, it is recommended to first flush the sprayer. Remove the tag attached to the top of the sprayer. Grab the sprayer and unscrew the top of the paint cup lid. Next, fill a flex liner bag halfway with water and place into the cup. Secure the lid to the cup and then attach the cup to the sprayer. Next, make sure the prime or spray knob is pointed down in the prime position. Plug the sprayer into your power source. Next, point the sprayer into the waste bin and pull the trigger for three to five seconds. Turn the prime or spray knob to the spray position and then invert the sprayer. Spray into the waste bin. Do this at least twice to completely flush the sprayer. Next, you'll want to remove the remaining water from the cup. Quick. 
quick note, whenever tightening the cup lid, you want to align the blue arrow with the end of the blue line on the cup to ensure it is not too loose or too tight. After flushing the sprayer, you're ready to start your first job. Fill the flex liner bag with your desired paint and place into the cup. Secure the cup lid and then attach to the sprayer. Next, open the vacuum valve at the top of the paint cup. Then tilt the gun so that the valve is at the highest point possible. We want to remove any excess air from the flex liner bag, so squeeze the bag until the paint reaches the vacuum valve. Then close the vacuum valve and prime the sprayer by turning the knob to prime and pulling the trigger. When spraying, it is best to keep the sprayer 10 to 12 inches away from the surface and to flex the wrist to keep the sprayer pointed straight at all times. Once you're finished using the sprayer, turn the knob down into the prime position and disconnect from the power. You will then want to separate the cup support with the flex liner from the cup cover on the sprayer. Set the sprayer upside down on a flat surface. This will keep the wet paint in the cup cover. You can then either discard or rinse your flex liner. I chose to rinse mine in order to reduce waste. To clean the sprayer itself, fill a flex liner approximately half full with warm water and secure the cup onto the cup cover. To clean the cup cover and strainer, secure the cup assembly and shake the entire sprayer for 10 seconds. Next, ensure the knob is pointed down into the prime position, invert the gun and hold the button for 10 seconds. Turn the knob forward into the spray position and reverse the spray tip into the unclog position by turning it 180 degrees. Put the sprayer upside down, spray into the waste bin. Repeat this step as many times as necessary to completely clean the sprayer. Thank you everyone for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please make sure to hit the subscribe and like button. And until next time, we'll see ya.